Alright, we're back with part 3 of chapter 12 of Ninja Gun Sigma 2. We're coming up. I'm gonna skip the next cutscene because it's actually kind of retarded. But I have to say, this is probably like the most prettiest shot in the game. Right there. That's actually kind of, you know, I like that shot for whatever reason. Anyways, we got more of the bazooka zombies as well as more of these little pill bugs running around. So we're, I'm just gonna stick with the tafas and just purposely target the Chainsaw zombies first, just because they got the range attack and they're by far the most annoying and most dangerous of all these bunch. I think I missed one coming up here in a minute. Ah, there we go, sweet. Feel free to just to use the essence from any enemies that you kill for the uh, UTs, as well as you know just keep an eye out where the guys are spawning and zigzag toward these guys. I think there's one behind me that I missed and he just plastered me with the cannonball. That's an annoying thing. With the cannonballs on the chain on the chainsaw zombies, um, they won't guard break you, but they but they will guard crush you. What this means is, if you were to block that shot, it will also break your card, but also shave off some of your health. So it's a bit of annoying. Again, continuing on, after you eliminate those couple of chainsaw zombies, all you have left are these pill bugs, and right there we have a retarded one. And look, he's just going up in the corner. I don't know what's up with his targeting system. We're getting a couple more. But once you clear out the zombie bazookas, I mean, these guys are simple. You, we all know the drill right now, I imagine. I'd imagine. We got last dude. Coming far. If you got these guys spawning in the pathway over here, the Eclipse Scythe works great. Just get, gets up in there. Awesomeness. Alright. I think that was the last dude. I think I was gonna originally gonna go back and save, but I decided against it. Like, you know what? It's the end of the level. All I have to do is take out the next fight. Then I'll just, you know, have to stay at the boss for a little bit. And we're coming up to the next arena, and for the most part, this level is actually kind of repetitive. Excuse me. In the second half, because all it is is chainsaw zombies, worms, and pill bugs. That's about it. Let's drop down. Yeah, actually, that is it. So. We're going to use the same method of approach in this fight that we did with the battle we had in the swamp with the acid worm. The only difference here is that the worm here, he can shoot acid at you, so that's another thing you have to keep on your mind. But if you just keep jumping around, there's not that many chains of zombie bazookas. My words are all jittery. I cannot say their name right, and I think because I had this nice cold cup of water, my tongue's numb. My tongue is numb. But once we eliminate the three, or maybe he was four, chains of zombie bazooka guys... We just had to deal with this one acid worm, and he's pretty easy. Just charge UT, takes him out. Well, a charge two UT takes him out, then a level one UT takes him out, or just a couple strikes with your scythe. Doesn't matter. Just gotta be careful. The most dangerous thing he can do to you is grab you with his tongue. It will cure you and will kill you. Anyways, probably which is one of the eh, more or less sentimentally cool bosses in this game, the dragon. <laughs> You are clear for landing, sir, but we do advise you that you kind of steady your approach. You're wobbling all over the place. All right, air control, over. What that meant? Man, he's got some bad gas going on. Dun dun dun. Dragon versus Dragon Ninja Fiend fight. Awesomeness. I'm gonna switch over my Emma's Fang, just cause you know it's heavy damage. Use it whatever weapon that you feel comfortable with couple moves to watch out for, he's got a dash attack, also if he hovers up in the air, he'll charge at you and he'll leave that stroke of fire, and this is a new thing for me. He actually grabbed me with his, he, uh, this has never happened to me before, I have never seen that attack in my life up until that moment. So, watch out for, watch out for his face, he plays out a lot like the armadillo in chapter, from chapter uh, 10, no, 9, yeah, chapter 9, but he's a lot easier because he doesn't, you know, spam any sort of projectiles. You'll see him, he'll just kind of raise up and slam his two fists, uh, his forward leg, four legs on the ground. That's a fire attack. Watch out for his tail swipe, though. So you kind of want to aim for his middle, like this first side. And I'll also like to mention, I did state in part one that I did not die while playing this thing. And I just, I'll admit, I did use a talisman rebirth, but, so you could say technically I did die, but I did not see a game over screen while playing this on this run through. So, there. <laughs> Come on, I mean, just, you know, give me some credit here. Some. Anyways, that's his most dangerous attack, I think. Kind of hard to dodge when he jumps up there and he comes on the ground. When he does, you just have one split second just to dash away from once. And here I'm going to pop in a grain, even though it's kind of pointless because I don't get hit for the rest of the fight. 
Once he lost his tail, he's very easy to beat because all he's going to do is uh, fire pits below you as well as the stomps and fly around a bit more. Here you go for the second OT. And I just decided to stick with Emma's Fang. It's another kill, and why not? And he's dead. It's kind of weird, you know, you get stabbed in the head. How would you rear up on the back like that? <laughs> I don't know. But, well, this has been Chapter 12, Master Ninja Mode, Walkthrough Commentary for Ninja Guy and Sigma 2. Thank you guys for, you know, sticking with me, hopefully understanding my language. Hopefully I'm getting this mic set up right so it doesn't, you know, the quality just gets a little better. We will see you in chapter the 13th and another other videos I may post up. And if I may say Ninja Guy and Sigma 2 guys, feel free to watch my other videos too and comment and rate. It helps me out a lot. We'll see you later.